uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, presbyopia. Presbyopia is when we have, <coughs> uh, usually when we get to about 40, 45, the muscles are not as flexible as they used to be. So what you're experiencing is that your arms are not long enough. Yes. Right? So you have to ask your husband to keep hold the menu up so you can <laughs> eat what it is. Right? <coughs> so uh, the way I, I think about that is that uh, as an 18 year old your muscle your maybe your muscle range is this far okay so as you as you get 40 maybe you're losing part of that range all your muscles including your eye muscles right so what we need to do is we need to, to simply get an extra range into the muscles and then the side it's an exercise in the book which I got from Lisette Scrolls book uh, Visiotronics I think it is uh, it's progressively lower and lower or in a smaller and smaller print it's on page uh, 42 and 43. So even if you don't have a presbyopia, we'll just go through the exercise. So then you can help other people who might have that. Okay. All right, so it's worthwhile for you to do this. So on page 42, you have a large print. Okay, so can everybody read uh, the top line on, on 43? That's 11 points. Okay. Should be able to. Any distance, any distance. Okay, so the way that to do this exercise, <clears throat> it's uh, an exercise in changing submodalities, really. So we turn the page upside down, all right? And then we look at the white between the lines. Your eyes glide, you know, on the white. And make that white brighter than the margins. So just let your eyes glide, you know, through the lines. And this exercise is easier to do if it's done in, in daylight like we did yesterday. So when you get to the bottom of the page, then turn it right side up and check how many paragraphs. Just take the first, the first uh, line or the first few words and then go down. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> Read all the way to the small one. Just the first few words. So can you read the first one? I mean, the, the, this bottom one? Oh, we're in the second page. Okay. Yeah, if, you are, if you have near sight, that's not a problem. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so in order for you to uh, maintain your perfect eyesight for the rest of your life, would you be interested to know what to do? Yeah. Okay, so you need to read small print like that, four or three points. This one is, is four points. Four points, the bottom line. The bottom line. So uh, in order for you to uh, exercise your low vision, the rods, the peripheral vision, read this in just with one candle. One candle is just about enough light for you to read. Right. So don't read War and Peace <laughs> in that light. But uh, photocopy is something that you really would like to read, an anchor, an anchor point article, for instance, or something like that. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then read the reduced copy. Does that mean every anchor point they'll, they'll So from now on, anchor point, <laughs> <laughs> they'll save a lot of paper, you know. That's right. Just a quarter of the size. <laughs> Four. Four points. <laughs> the reason that this is so good for your eyes is that when you are reading the very small print, you are using your central fixation. Right? So, so then you are using your eyes in the most optimum way and, and you are relaxing your visual system. So, so that's very important to continue to do that. Now, there are many, many opportunities during the day, especially when you go to the supermarket. No. So just look at, at the uh, content. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can you read it? Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> so another another thing that you can do for for presbyopia <laughs> is that initially it would be out here. Okay. So we need to have be able to read it here comfortably, and then as close as you possibly can get it. You know, so you can get it. So you begin to uh, get it here when it's clear. Then you move it a little bit further, so it fusses up. Move it back and forth. So you're sort of massaging it to come in. 
sort of uh, rocking it. So you want to have this as close as possible, and uh, uh, simply using this exercise with people who are beginning to, to need reading glasses will bring them back. People who have needed reading glasses for a while would need to practice that. So first, do it in, in daylight, it's easier. And then do it in dimmer and dimmer light. If you do it with the fluorescent light, that's difficult. Right. So all work in fluorescent light is difficult. So if you work in, in fluorescent light environment and get uh, incandescent lights to compensate, because what's happening with fluorescent light is that, that it's flickering. So your, your um, iris is constantly trying to, to adjust, so it's, it's perpetually in, in stress. Right. So it never uh, settles, and that strains the eyes. Yeah. So you're saying if you add a desk lamp and mm -hmm. like this, that helps? Yeah, it, it evens it out. Let's continue to work a little bit more on Prasvayokta, if you like. There is this double circle exercise. This exercise uh, is training the muscles that you need to move your eyes in. It's uh, exercising the muscles that you need for looking at when you're reading. Your eyes need to move slightly in to focus. Okay? So uh, what we do is, you know, like the magic pictures, you put it in like this, and, and then you get a, a third one, then you move it out so you can see it clearly, so it becomes three-dimensional, and you can see the seeing, seeing that sort of one word above the other. One word? One line above the other. Yes, two, two. No. Yes, you have uh, the, the, the two pictures come together. There's a third pie, mm -hmm. sort of like a wedding cake. It becomes three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. All right. You get one line of the word, the word seeing above each other. The seeing, the word seeing. So. Yeah. So they come. Yeah, some, some, sometimes they, they, the R and L goes behind. Yes. In all three We were no. close. <laughs> okay, so you, you start out like this, and then you move it out. And then you need to uh, relax your eyes so that you can maintain the three dimensional circles in the middle. So you get it out to reading distance. Yes. Yeah. Some, sometimes turning the page a little bit uh, does the trick. <laughs> okay. Uh, all seeing double. Yeah, okay. Here we are. Ideally. Yeah, okay. So we have seeing, seeing here. Yeah. Okay, in the middle. And then we have the two other circles here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh. Are the others? This the one. circle in the middle of the outside circle? That's 3D. That's the circle in the middle is the one you're looking at, and that's three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. right. So the R and the L sort of floats behind. When, when I introduced this exercise in Taiwan, uh -huh. there was a lady, um, a lawyer, uh, she was sharing with us that uh, after doing this exercise, and she was looking down and so take, there was a book she wanted to buy or was thinking about buying. Mm -hmm. So she was looking at it and then the text was, was crystal clear. So then uh, as she was saying that, everybody sort of took the page up and, and did it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is a version of the string exercise but for reading distance. So that's important for people with uh, uh, presbyopia.